keep an eye on your monitor because this is a fascinating story. 100 years ago today, the steel bulk freighter known as the Hurenton sank to the bottom of Lake Superior. 100 years ago today. Well, earlier this year, the Hurenton was discovered by a crew from the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society. And joining us now is Corey Atkins from the Great Lakes Shipwreck Museum to share more about this historic discovery. Uh, thanks for being with us. First of all, describe the conditions that led to that ship going down 100 years ago. So uh, t Tom was just talking about the, the great weather we, we have had over the, the last month. And right now, it's beautiful up here on Whitefish Bay. I'm looking out, and, uh, and it's blue skies. But uh, 100 years ago, today, um, it was foggy. There was 50 ships anchored in the bay out here. So um, there was 50 ships waiting for the, the, the fog to lift. But the Hurenton and the, uh, uh, the Cetus decided they needed to make their, their runs. So that's when they got into the accident because of fog. And we should point out this is Whitefish Bay, Michigan, not Whitefish Bay, the suburb of Milwaukee, just for our viewers here. Okay, so <laughs> she's in 800 feet of water, way too yes. far for humans to go down on their own. A scuba diver can only go down about 100 feet. How is she discovered? So we have a, a, a towfish that we tow behind our, our, uh, our research vessel, the David Boyd, and our director of marine operations, Daryl Ortel. We, we call it mowing the lawn. So he goes back and forth and back and forth on 40-mile grids to find out where shipwrecks are not. And then when he finds a target, we go back over it and, uh, and identify that it's actually a shipwreck. And then we put our ROV down on the wreck and to identify it. But she's so eight. that's that's the process. How do you identify? Like, what is the? Is there a ping? Is there something that comes back on sonar? How do you know that's a shipwreck and not just a large mass of whatever? Uh, Daryl's very good at what he does. Our director of marine operations. He's very good. When when we refer when he saw the first ping, as you call it, uh, it was it looked like a little sliver on the bottom of Lake Superior. So he was like, that's a target I want to go back and, and, and check out. So when, when we went back, we narrowed down the, the sonar image, and it, it, it lit up like a shipwreck uh, right then and there. So then we have to put a crew together to uh, put our, our robot down, our ROV down, that can go down 800 feet. And, and then that's when we uh, identified that as the Hurenton because of its steel mass, because of the makeup of the ship, and, and its length. The pictures are amazing. In 15 seconds or less, please, what are the practical applications of this being down there? What can we learn from this? Oh, it's just part of America's history. It's just, it's, a, it's part of our story of this country. And we are very proud to be able to bring this to the public. And it's just, it's a, uh, it's, it's a mystery that's solved now. Now we know where the Hurenton, Hurenton is. Great job finding it. I could ask you a million more questions, but we're out of time. Corey Atkins, <laughs> well, thank you so much. Anytime. Uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks so much. Absolutely fascinating. 800 feet down. And even those images, I mean, mm -hmm. just looking at the video. Is, he was the, the cold water there, it's going to be preserved mm -hmm. like that for a very long time. Right.